Hey, yo, it's your boy G20 King Sarcasm. You already know what it is, man. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to franchise mode with the Edmonton Oilers. God help us file. Y'all, we are starting the 2021 season today. Our preseason ended with an undefeated 7 0 0 record. And I am a little bit superstitious about that because every single time I get an undefeated preseason, I end up really struggling out of the gate. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But McDavid has 11 points in seven games with an assist a game. So he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. If he if he can keep that up, it's going to be nice and uh, nice and Gucci. Okay, on the Edmonton Oilers scout assignments. Ah, sh shit, I should hire some scouts. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, off-camera signed a few scouts. Well, offered them contracts. Some of them might not come around, but it's fine. Uh, couldn't find a QMJHL scout, so we're going to be fucked with that. But it doesn't matter. Today, we are going to start the simulation, and we are going to go probably almost all the way to the trade deadline because I'm really confident in this team. And really, the only contract negotiation that we actually is like a priority to do is Evan Bouchard. We got to get that done. Um... Yeah, that I would like to get it done. He's at 82. He is, yeah, early 20s still, top four defenseman potential, and he's already uh, a top four. So, like, he's only getting better, and he's going to be playing in the top four for a little while. He's an offensive defenseman also, and currently he is on my first pair. Now, if you are new here, I will briefly go through the lines. Uh, we will not spend too much time on here, but uh, we still have Dreisaitl McDavid, the dynamic duo. We have Nuge and Yamamoto. That's the dynamic duo on the second line. How long do we still have Pugliarvi? Two years at, uh, at basically robbing the man right now because he's at 85. Our third line is going to be Lowry, Shiasan, and Hoffman. That's going to be a ridiculous third line, but that's going to be... Oh, that's so good. Hoffman's contract ends at the same time as Pugliarvi. So, basically, we're going to lose Hoffman, but it's going to give us some money to sign Pugliarvi. So, that's really good. Uh, we're going to have to figure out another third-line option, but hopefully that's where Tyler Benson's going to come in. So, there you go. We might lose uh, Ryan Dezingle also. Now, this is the best I could do for chemistry as far as defense goes. I know my third pair is not the greatest, but it is whatever because my other two pairs are plus three. So, we should be okay. We should be okay or a scratch. JT Brown, I'm so sorry, big guy, but it's just it's going to have to be this way. And our goaltenders, 85 Henrik Lundqvist and 80 Ryan Miller, both only signed for one year. So that is how we're going to start the season. Let's just simulate a few games, get into the season, and then we're going to start talking to my boy Evan. Uh, let's simulate all the way up to here. Should be a few... Um, a few games. Oh, yeah, all the scout pop-ups are going to come in. Why can't I just get one pop-up for all of these nerds at the same time? And it's just really annoying. Like, why can't I just get one pop-up? But it's fine. It's fine. You know, we're going to start the season 0-1. That's not great. But uh, we, we came back 1-1. One one. There you go. We split the games in Calgary. You got to win those games in your division uh, for, for you to make the playoffs. But Calgary is a pretty damn good hockey team, so I'm okay with it. Still, there you go. A 4-1 and one start. Central scouting, that's fine. We should be okay. We're not really looking towards the future right now, right? We're in win now mode. We are. We should be competing for a cup here. In the, in the next, uh, we have a little window, like uh, like a two year window of great opportunity. Our window's longer than that to win, but I think our best opportunity. Um, as far as what we can see right now, like the foreseeable future, is going to be in our next two years. So we really want to do that. And after 10 games, we are 9-1. and one. Woo! Woo! Shit! Our leading scorer is Mike Hoffman with 15 points. Oh, man, on the third line. That plus three um, chemistry is really coming in hot. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, that's fine. McDavid's still over a point per game. Oh, my goodness, Dreisaitl. 13 assists and two goals, eh? All right. What are goaltenders doing? Our goaltenders, Ryan Miller's only played one game, but shit, 935, I'll take it. 923 for Henry Longfist. We were getting some good goaltending here. Okay, what about our defense? What I want to know is how Evan Bouchard is doing. Ooh, Evan. Evan, it's a contract year, bro. We're going to need you to start producing here, my guy. Uh, if I do this, 
yeah, that's going to screw up chemistry, so we're not going to do this. And yeah, Muzzin has eight assists, so Bouchard is having a tough one. But that could help us, because, I mean, Evan Bouchard is going to be good. So we could use this cold street to sign him to a little bit of a cheaper deal here. Hold on. We're going to go and see um, what Mr. Bouchard wants. Ooh, $4.5 million for four years? Uh, he's 22. That's going to bring him right to free or unrestricted free agency, eh? I don't really like that. Um, what about six years? Yeah, what about six years? Right? And he's always going to be in my top four, that's for sure. So I'm not going to be um, too annoyed at that, at that number here. 4.12. I know, I know. Okay, some people are telling me, when you up the years, you dumbass, the, the number goes up. I know. Listen, I know. But I'm not trying to give him what he wants. I'm trying to get him on a deal that I want. Okay, so that's what we're doing. It's a, it's a negotiation. We're not trying to get him to sign right now. I mean, unless he does. We're trying to get him to lower his number a little bit okay and like i said 4.1 i'm okay with that if he signs for that i'm okay with it because he's going to be in my top four so what happens uh evan bouchard decided to reject your offer okay okay that's fine that's fine that's perfectly fine evan we're gonna we're gonna figure it out through the season and this his price will change through the season so i am okay with it you got to take your time you got to just be patient with it, okay? I don't think our focus this year is going to be making a whole lot of trades. It's going to be on signing Evan Bouchard. Unless, unless I mean, something bad happens and um, we really got to make a trade, but I don't think we're going to be making one unless uh, either, like I said, something bad happens or we have a great trade offer from a team. We're going to go see who's our leading scorer. Leon Dreisaitl with 29 points in 18 games. Leon is on fire. He is on fire, okay? He is... The, the, the man is lit right now. Evan Bouchard, what do you want? Still the same, eh? I don't want to bring you right to free agency, though. Like, like I, I really don't. I really do not. So we're going to bring the price up just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, that's just a little bit. We're just under 4.2 here, which, like I said, since he's going to be playing in my top four, I do not mind it. And uh, we gotta we got to take our time with him. Let's continue the simulating and see what happens. We're going to simulate one whole week here. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So far, 14... Oh, what do you have? Decided to reject your offer. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is our first, um, first trade offer here. If it's Savard, I do like Savard. Um, I don't need him, though. Not really. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and say no to that. Because, I mean, our team is doing well right now. 18 and 4. This is, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to argue that our team is doing poorly. I just got to be careful not to piss off uh, Bouchard here. We're going to give him another week to just relax a little bit and uh, not get too too antsy with me. What do you want? Savard. I, I don't really want Savard. Oh, a spe no, I am not giving you Airhoff. That's just not happening um, at all. Just no, sir. Okay. So we are 20 and 5, though. Like, the Oilers are out here, bro. It is It is legitimate. 39 points in, in, what was it, 25 games for my boy Leon? That's ridiculous, bro. There he is. All right. You don't want to re-sign. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. So I pissed you off. It's fine. It's fine. Four years at four mil. Okay. How about we do three years? We're going to give you three years at that. That should bring you to 25 years old. So we're going to do that. It's basically the money that he wants, but a little bit lower, um, like one less year, so that that way I'm going to hopefully be able to still have him as a restricted free agent when his contract is up. Uh, Nazem Kadri for Brobert. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't want it. I don't want it. Evan. Evan. Reject your offer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. 
I'm not interested in extending my contract. Listen, Evan, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Okay, Mark Edward Vlasic. No, I don't want to make a trade right now. I don't want to do it because we're doing great. Twenty and seven, uh, twenty-one and seven. Like, come on, come on. We are a three-to-one win-to-loss ratio right now, and we finally lose one in overtime. There you go. Just want to get Evan on board here for a contract. How about? Okay, since you're pissed off, Evan, we're going to give you a two-year contract at $4 million, at 4.1, actually. Basically, the money I wanted to sign you to for long-term, but I'm going to give you a very short contract, and both you and Pooley RV are going to expire at the same time. Actually, no, you're going to expire one year after Pooley RV. I'm an idiot. I'm lying. I'm lying. Don't worry about me. I'm lying. Okay? What do we have here? I decided to reject your offer. Okay. Not interested in... Okay. Okay. We're... Which, fuck it. Fuck it, Bouchard. It's fine. I pissed him off a little bit in the uh, negotiations, but it's fine. We're going to sign him in the resign phase or whatever. Because um, we don't have to sign him right now because he's restricted. So it's whatever. We're going to figure that out in the off season, And if we don't, well, it's too fucking bad. It's going to be too bad, and uh, we're going to get some picks for him. But it's fine because right now, Jared Spurge, but I'm not giving you Broberg, bro. It's not happening. It ain't happening, Captain. It's just, nah. -uh. Why would I do that? Broberg is going to be an absolute beast. I know I said we're in a window of opportunity right now, but you can't just strip the farm to, um, to, to have your window right now. Like, you can't. You can't do that. Especially when you have a guy like Broberg in the in the system that's going to develop into a good player. Look at this. 30, 11, and 1. Yikers, boys. We are out here. We are out here, man. This is this is this is good. And we just lost to the freaking ducks. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. We're still at the top of the Pacific Division, which is blessed. That is exactly what we want to see. Stuart Skinner for Cody CC. Who the fuck are you? Get the Get out of here. Oh my god, the Rangers are mad that I signed him at Longfist, and they're trying to screw me here. Alex Goligoski for the Kings for some draft again. Oh man, that's actually that's a lot of cap hit though. No, never mind. Never mind. We ain't gonna do that. Like I said, like we're doing so well right now that I don't I don't really wanna like upset the, the, the I don't wanna rock the boat right now, you know? Like look at McDavid, bro. Sixty seven assists or sixty seven points in forty nine games. What the fuck? Let me just check on my boy Evan real quick, see what happens with him. He still still says that he's not interested in uh the contract, but it's fine. He still wants a four year deal. I'll get I'll give you two years at 4.5 let's just kick the can down the road Evan and we're gonna figure that out once we have the whole Pooley RV situation taken care of all right how about that because at this point he he's he's he doesn't want to re-sign anyway like it's fine it's fine it's whatever it is what it is we're just gonna check periodically because if he change it was an easy decision boom okay so we re-sign Evan Bouchard at four and a half for two years now it's a little steep considering he's a 82 but if he grows to a 83 or 84 next year it's not going to be as bad and like i said since he plays in my top four i'm okay with it chris let tang oh man oh that is so freaking enticing oh that's a first round pick though that is a first, that is a whole first round pick. I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh, that's a big trade. Eh, actually not. Like, it's, it's okay. It's a right. It's a right. trade. We, we, like, we have 40 wins before the trade deadline. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, no. The Colorado Avalanche have fired their coach. That is, that is a big yikes for them. But, um, in other news, we... <laughs> We are so good. I don't want to take. I don't want to make any trades. I don't care. Some of these are actually looking pretty decent, and like I'm getting value, and I'm getting a good player. But look at us, bro. 42, 13, and one. We have 40. We have the potential to have 45 wins before the trade deadline. That is unbelievable.
That is just an absolutely world-beating season out here. We have built such a great team. Somebody told me I was an idiot. Belmar. Be Belmar. No. No. Somebody told me I was an idiot for not accepting a trade for Andreas Janssen earlier. Like, in a in an earlier video. And I'm like, look at me now, bro. 45 wins at the trade deadline. Look at this. We just keep on motoring. We're just fucking going, bud. We're sending it. We might have 60 wins by the end. We might have a President's Trophy out here. Oh, my goodness. You know what, guys? We're going to simulate the entire season because I am not making a trade. I don't care what's offered to me. I don't care what happened. I don't care... Nah, nah, Chris Letang for a first... No, I don't want to upset anything. Bro, we have 47 wins. 47 of them shits at the trade deadline. Like, what the... We still have over a month of hockey left to play. And we have damn near 50 wins. That is unbelievable. There's 48 right there. Okay, breaking news. Uh, the Sabres are mad that they're not us, so they fired their coach. There you go, boom. Sucks to suck, bud. But it's fine. I just want to get, like, could we get 54 wins, right? 54, 55 wins, maybe. Okay, that would be that would be pretty good if we could do that. We are slowing down here after the trade deadline. The, the grind of the season, as well as the fact that we locked up a playoff spot, seems to have uh, slowed the boys down just a little teeny tiny bit here. But we should be okay. Man, we actually we actually slowing down quite a decent bit here quite a fair bit we were on pace for more wins there you go we're starting to win again all right towards the end of the regular season we're just killing it man absolutely killing it 55 win season there you go boom that's just that's just ridiculous that's probably a uh, president's trophy right 55 25 and 2 that has to be a president's trophy bro come on come on tell me 102 points for Connor mcdavid there you go 59 assists and Ah, it's not a President's Trophy. The Rangers got it. So, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because we avoid the President's Trophy curse. But we still had a great season. So, I am okay with it. We're just going to have a quick statistical update. Or a statistical um, breakdown, I guess. I, and you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to do with the lines because... Yeah, we're going to do with the lines. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am confused a little bit right now. Let's go. Boom. Oh my goodness, Leon! Leon had 76 assists. What the fuck, dude? He's a, he's a sniper out here getting 76 assists. Okay, all right, whatever. McDavid's the, the goal scorer, I guess. And, oh, Yuka Rask had 50 goals, bro. 50 goals. God damn! In his second year, oh, that is that is that is the greatest pick I think I've ever made, bro. Second overall. Oh, who went first? I think it was Lafreniere. Yeah, it was Lafreniere. Man, I think Rask has beat Lafreniere so far. Pooley out here with 50 points, 20 goals. That's very good. Nugent Hopkins, damn. Damn, 60 assists and almost 20 goals. That's pretty good for Nuge. Yamamoto's a 24 goal score. That's very good. And the third line, oh my goodness, Mike Hoffman. Ew, 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 ew. 70 points on the third line for Mike Hoffman. That is wild. Adam Lowry went not as offensive, but still had almost 30 assists. And hey, He's a penalty killer for us, and that's why I got him, so that's good. 15 goals for Shiasan, that's very good. Um, yeah, over 20 points for Tyler Benson on the fourth line, that's good. 30 assists for Ryan Zingle, along with 14 goals. Let's go, man. And James Neal still scoring 15 on the fourth line, that is very good. Jake Muzzin had, oh my goodness, almost 60 assists for Jake Muzzin. Very good, very good. We love to see it. Evan Bouchard, not nearly as good. Man, look at this guy, eh? Only 17 points on the first pair. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that, but hey, whatever, whatever. He's a plus 31, so they must be doing something right. Clefbaum is out here with 24 points on the second pair, along with Bufflin, who is regressing dangerously fast. Um... Okay, he was an 86 at the start of the season. He's now an 84. That's not as that's not as great. Is his chemistry still plus three? It showed a fuck is. 40 points still 
for your boy Darnell Nurse is out here with 16. And Ethan Bear with almost 10 goals on the third pair. Okay, Ethan. Shit. I said shit. That's pretty good. What about our goaltending? That was the issue last season. Let's see, or last playoff season. Let's see what happened. Okay, 904 for Henrik Lundqvist. Ooh, I don't know if I like starting Henrik Lundqvist. 66 starts at his at his age, man. Wow, that dropped him from an 85 to an 83 midseason, and uh, 902 for Ryan Miller. So. Yeah, I uh, both those goaltenders are expiring this year, but we are such a great offensive team that I don't think it matters all that much. All we got to do is because we got almost every single NHL team beat just with this third line. This third line is absolutely ridiculous. Look at look 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 at him. Look at him. Jesus, that is wild. That is absolutely wild, and that's gonna be the end of the video we're gonna find out one last thing we're gonna find out who we're facing in the first round and after that it's gonna be the end of the video it's gonna be deuce it's gonna be raps okay we're gonna be facing the anaheim ducks okay okay we should get dubs right we should get dubs we'll find out what their roster is in the next video man but for now it's your boy we signed evan bouchard and like i said a little bit more money than i really wanted to sign him to like, if I signed him to that much, I, I would have liked some term, but just... I like the fact that when that contract expires, he's going to be restricted. I'm not super happy with what I did with his contract, but... Eh, still, it's fine. He's going to be playing in the top four, so 4.5 million is not bad at all for the role that he's going to be playing. And it's not like we're locked him up forever, either, at that number. So, it's fine. Whatever. It's going to be the end of this video, like I said. And if you enjoyed it, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spend a lot of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.